Do you want to start using two of the most popular features that my customers have been asking for all the time? I'm the Productivity Coach and today I'll show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Riddell, the Productivity Coach, and I'm a Modern Work Customer Success Manager at Microsoft. And before I go any further, I'm really sorry that I have not published any videos for a little while. Um, if you're familiar with Microsoft, uh, towards the end of June is the end of our year, um, and then July is where the new year starts. So we have a big ramp up when we're looking at all of the new stuff that we're going to be pushing out to our customers and lots and lots of readiness. Um, and of course, we have holiday time in that as well. But I am back. Uh, I'm going to be producing new content all the time uh, on this channel so make sure that you like subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, so that you do get notified when new content goes straight up there so today I want to talk about two of the most popular features that my customers have been asking for forever one is chat replies in the Microsoft Teams desktop client now you can do this already uh, on the mobile phone uh, and lots and lots of customers wanted to be able to do an inline reply uh, in, in the desktop client itself. Great news, it is here, it's rolling out right now, and I'm gonna give you a demo of how to use that. And then the other one is around breakout rooms. Now, customers absolutely love breakout rooms when uh, they rolled out, but they needed a little bit more flexibility. So if you've been using the breakout rooms, uh, functionality in Microsoft Teams, you'll know that only the meeting organizer can operate the breakout rooms, do things like jumping between them, etc. Um, again, we've got a brand new feature, it's launched. Uh, it is in uh, public preview at the moment, but it will be rolling out very, very soon. Um, and if you're on the public preview, then you can enable that straight away, which is breakout room presenter support. So those are people who can help you uh, to, uh, to run your uh, breakout rooms and that also means that you might have one person who sets up meetings um, and this is a really common scenario in training um, and then you have trainers who actually run the breakout rooms themselves so let's have a look at this we'll go to the computer here so um here i'm i'm in my chat here with jack and you can just see if i go up to the dot dot here this isn't public preview this is uh generally available here and it's rolling out so you can see i've got a couple of messages here from jack one asking about whether I finished off a document, another one asking whether I'd had a bonus discussion. Um, and obviously people want to reply and make sure that we've got their context. So if I go on that dot, dot, dot at the top and click reply, or I just right click and do reply, then you can see down the bottom here, we've got this uh, quoted reply. Um, if you've been doing it, you might have had this on the mobile for ages and ages and ages, uh, but it is now here on the desktop. So I can just uh, do my reply here about the draft of the document so absolutely i've uploaded it to the team site um, and then if i wanted to reply to the second one again right click and reply um, and in yes i've had my bonus discussion and i'm happy okay so short and sweet they're great feature uh, that lots and lots of uh, customers are really, really been asking for, and it'll make a lot of people really happy. Now, the next one uh, I wanted to show you is breakout rooms. So I do have to go to that about menu and uh, switch over to the public preview. Now, if you don't have that option available, you will need to speak to uh, your tenant admin. Uh, so somebody in your IT department and get them to put you on the public preview. Um, there's documentation. I will put it in the description uh, along with this video to tell you how. So uh, just let this finish loading. There we go. So I'm going to go to my calendar here uh, and I'm going to set up a new break, uh, just a normal meeting, same as I normally did. So uh, let's go up to here. I'm going to make a new meeting. OK. And I'm going to call this training session. This is a really common use case here. So let's just add some people. So let's add Nesta in here. Um, we're going to add Miriam as well. Okay, let's just add a few more. So uh, add Alex and we can also add Alan as well. Uh, let's have a few more people here. So I'm going to add Dan in as well as Deborah. Um, okay, let's look at uh, adding Patty and uh, let's lastly add Pradeep. Now my person who's going to be delivering is actually Jack. So I'm adding Jack in as well. So just normally the same way as we normally do. And I'm going to just then send that meeting off. Just hit that send button there and it will go off just as normal. So then all I need to do is go back into that meeting and open it up there. OK, and then you can see just at the top here, I've got a new option here, which has breakout rooms. So the great thing is you can set up your breakout rooms in advance. Um, again, really, really popular here. Lots of people want to set those breakout rooms up in advance. 
Okay, so you can see we've got a brand new interface here. Uh, I've got this button here that says create rooms. So how many rooms do I need? So I'm going to say two rooms because I've only got eight people here. Um, and again, we've got this tiled view of these rooms. So what I can do is click on that dot, 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 go to edit and rename our room. So let's have one where we're going to be looking at finance improvements. And we'll put anyone who's related to finance in there. And then uh, on the other one, let's go here and we're going to do that one. And that's going to be operations oh, improvements there we go and I can just save that okay I can see there's no participants in there at the moment okay we still can make lots of other changes are on here um, so again if I go back to that dot dot you can see that there is a settings button so I can click on that oh that's open a window off screen let's bring that in Okay, just let that open. And that's going to open up the meeting options for that individual room. You can see that on these finance improvements. So most of these you won't want to change. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do record automatically because I'm not going to be in all of those rooms. But I want to make sure that it gets recorded. So uh, let's do that again for operations improvements. Oh, it's over there again. Let's bring that back. Okay, and I'm going to set that one off just to do recording uh, automatically. Now, again, you know, it might be that you're in an educational context, so you want to turn off the chat or uh, or the reactions or whatever. But you can do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign my my participants, uh, and I'm I could do it automatically, but I'm going to do manually. Okay, and let's just pick uh, Alex, Alan, Dan, and Deborah, and they can go up there. So just go to assign, and I'm going to put them in the finance improvements. I'm going to skip Jack. I'm going to go to Miriam, Nesta, Patty, and Pradeep, and they're going to go into Ops. Now, of course, you can you don't have to tick them all. You can just pick on this uh, drop down here on the side. Uh, but for Jack, I don't need to do that. So I'm just unchecking. There you go. And I'm just going to click Assign. Okay, and we can see that there they are down the bottom there. So I've got four participants in each room. Okay, so I think. Uh, and if we go up to the cog here, this is going to be the next bit that we want to do is actually to set up Jack as a support, uh, as a presenter supporter. So I'm going to go onto that cog and you can see again, we've got this new way of looking at this. And I've got this option here saying assign presenters to manage room. So if I switch that across and I can search for presenters, so it can only be people within your organization, within your tenant. Um, and again, we can do things like set these meeting options, like setting a time limit, so let's say our breakout rooms are going to be 20 minutes um, and then things like whether people can get automatically moved, whether they can return back to the main meeting, etc. things like this. So I can just close that and they're saved. Uh, and that's my breakout room. It's all set up in advance now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sign out of here and I'm going to sign back in as Jack and then uh, see how Jack can use that uh, within his context as well. OK, so let me just... Go over there and just sign in, uh, sign into Jack, uh, and bring that across. There we go. Okay, so I'm in Jack. You can see here, here he is up there. Uh, you can see his face up there in the profile. Now he is also on that preview. You can see that because he's got a little P up on his name. So I'm going to join that meeting. Let's we let's we're not going to do it with audio just for now, so because I've got lots and lots of people in the meeting uh, here, so I don't want it all to clash. There we go. So we can see lots of people have joined our meeting. But the interesting thing is that I'm Jack. I'm not the organizer. And I've got that breakout room option up there. So it opens up this side panel. And it said no one is managing rooms. So only one person can manage breakout rooms at a time. So the controller of the breakout room. So I'm going to click manage rooms. And I'm going to be taking control of that, uh, of that breakout room experience. OK, now, if you've got multiple people, if I do that and somebody else is doing it, it'll take it off them. So I can do things like assign participants. I can open this up, uh, do a lot of this stuff that we could have done before. Uh, OK, move people around, whatever. Uh, but what I can do is I'm going to open the room. So, again, this wouldn't have been possible or this only would have been possible for the organiser. Uh, OK, you can see my room are open. So not everybody joined the meeting, so they're not all in those breakout rooms. Now, interestingly, if I just drag that one across from over here you can see that that recording has automatically started so the person who's in that room hasn't had to do anything at all it's automatically started so really great and also even though I'm presenter I can join a room so 
same as the organizer would do you just click on that dot dot and you can see i'm here in this breakout room with alan i've got this timer at the top it's automatically recorded all of those things uh, but i can click leave now i'm not in the meeting if you notice i'm still on hold on the main meeting but i can still access that panel do things like make announcements so we're going to say to people nearly finished we'll pull them back in a moment and send that and that will just send through those meetings uh, I can add rooms, all of those kind of normal things there, um, all even though I'm not the organiser. So I'm going to close that and let's just rejoin our main meeting so we can see people start to come back in. There we go. There they are. They're all coming back there. Um, so there you go. I, that's that's all done. Um, and if I just close that panel, in fact, let's just leave that because this is a... One of the great things as well is even though Jack isn't the organiser, because he's that breakout support, he gets to uh, look at the chat for all of those meetings. So if I go over to my chat now, uh, even though I haven't joined them all, you can see that I've got the operations improvements chat and the finance improvement chat. I've got access to the meeting recording. You can see there the message that was sent through, etc. So really, really powerful, uh, really, really powerful way to operate breakout rooms. And again, something that customers have been absolutely crying out there. Um, so if you're desperate to get hold of it, then you can go onto the, uh, the public preview. Again, I'm going to pop the, uh, the link to that uh, in the description on the YouTube page. Um, but you might already be on the private preview. You will need to speak to IT to get enabled on that. Otherwise, you just need to wait. Hopefully, it won't be too long uh, before it rolls out and becomes generally available. So hopefully, you found this interesting. Hopefully, it was a worthwhile uh, return to the videos on the YouTube channel. Just a reminder, uh, please go and tell a friend. Go to youtube.com. Uh, forward slash productivity coach uh, to get all of my latest videos like subscribe hit the bell share do all of that great stuff um, please like and comment uh, if you want anything else you want me to look at doing in future videos please uh, just comment on that below uh, and also on the end of the screen I've got things like my Twitter um, and my LinkedIn so you can just send me a message there we want to try and make this as uh, participatory as possible and see what people really really want but thank you for joining me today hopefully you find it really really useful and I'll see you again on another video